asked me when we did the foiling masterclass a couple of weeks ago everybody wanted to know some advanced techniques well i said if we're doing advanced stuff that's monday makers where we do all the advanced stuff you guys were asking to see how to do this technique how to foil onto a candle so i'm gonna get a foil press plugged in this is what everyone has been asking for. Everyone's wanting to know how to do this. It's one of those techniques where once someone shows you, you think, oh, of course. But I thought this would be lovely, maybe a baby's first Christmas, or this could be like a, a first anniversary that you're making for somebody, or a first birthday, or it doesn't have to be one. You could do this for, you know, any amount of, any type of, you know, any birthday, any anniversary, anything you want to do on here, okay? But it's all done using tissue paper now what I do is I keep all of my um you know when you order some clothes or whatever and they come wrapped in tissue it's always the white stuff the cheap stuff I keep that for this exact technique so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut a little bit of the tissue you don't need very much of it I'm going to cut a bit of the tissue and I'm also going to get out that uh, the design. So these are the numbers. I will walk you through all of these a uh, little bit later, but I'll do the demo first. So first of all, we're going to foil, then we're going to stamp onto that tissue paper. So I'm going to just cut a little bit of silver foil and you just need a very small amount for these. And what it will do is it will foil the one, but leave a little bit of a gap. Now, when you're foiling on a tissue paper, basically you only need it for about 10 seconds. So I'm going to set my seconds ready. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to need a shim because the tissue paper is very fine. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, oh, you'll be very careful. I've got a bit of, bit of glue on the bottom. We're going to go with our one, start the countdown timer. I'm going to get my foil ready so the foil goes down, then the tissue, so that we're going to do the tissue into here as well. Then I'm going to put my top piece on, then we put the top plate on, and that is ready to go through the foil press. So tissue paper, because it is a little bit thinner, anytime you're working with something that is a little bit fine and thinner, just add in that extra shim. It's just a piece of cardstock, and it just gives it that extra little bit of pressure. So if I just turn that again to the close-up camera so you can see, when I peel this away, you've got the perfect transfer foil. I know that it looks like there's a bit missing, but trust me when I say that's on purpose. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to bring in my one of my stamping mats so that we can stamp onto the, bait, the remainder here. We're going to put our tissue down. I'm going to bring in my, so here's the rest of my foil. So if I show you this, can you see, you see how this wraps around. I'll see if we can get you any closer so that you can see the stamping here. So what I'm going to do, oh, actually, I'll tell you what might be a little bit better than the uh, than using the stamping mat. Oh, I'll use my positioner. Brilliant. So this is our eight inch platform. So I'm going to pop this down, hold the tissue in place. So I'll move this up a little bit so that you can see. Wonderful. Hold the tissue in place. And then what you're going to do is you're going to look at the number one. Now I can see there. Lovely. My nice big uh, flower comes to the bottom. So it's going to wrap around the one and a little bit poking out from the side. So excuse me, you're going to get my hair on here. But we're going to go on. This is just going to perfectly line up around. There we go. All the way around the one absolutely where we want it we then come pop this on pick this up i'm going to stamp it with my alcohol proof dye because i'm going to color this in so you're going to stamp that with the alcohol proof dye plenty of it on there turn around and then that will just stamp exactly into place around our number one absolutely perfect and then all you need to do is come in from here and you're going to color in around your number one so i've actually got one here uh oh i've got one where i put the uh the st on there as well so for the first actually i need i need to do some coloring in on one let's get my should I get my tri blends out oh i did get them out so i'll get a nice purple and i'll do a little bit of coloring so what you'll see is there's a trick when you're coloring onto tissue paper you're going to be you're just going to ever so gently dab it so don't worry about the blend i'm just going to do a little bit of dotting onto here a little bit of colouring on there and of course we just had the uh, tri-blends on on Friday so hopefully you've all got them but I stamped with the alcohol proof dye because I wanted to use the alcohol pen for colouring so even though it's just on a tissue paper you can still get that lovely coloured finish. 
Uh, Anne is talking about timings, um, Sarah, uh, and says eh, a lot of the um, times in the chart talk about thicker card stocks. Any tips for thinner card stocks, which I guess is pretty similar to what you're doing right now uh, with the tissue? To be honest, you'll find it's, it is pretty much the same sort of thing. So it's, it's pretty much going to be the same sort of timing. You will get to know your own machine, so you'll get to have a bit play with those timings, but um, you'll find actually it's, it's pretty much the same uh, if you're doing it for thinner or thicker. Now, let me show you. We're going to get ready to transfer this onto the candle. This is the exciting bit now, Joe, right? So first thing you're going to do is you're going to tear your tissue paper. So you're going to get quite close, but not too close. And you're just going to tear all around that tissue. And it, it, I always like to tear it because it gives it more of a um, more of a, an authentic look when it's it's burned. Because that's what we're going to do. We're going to melt it into the surface of the candle. So coming all the way around, you're going to get this all torn around. So you've got that nice kind of rough edge. Right, that's that's now waste that little bit. Then bring in your candle. Now let me just get tidied up here. I'm going to take out my number one there. I'm going to pop the foil press. Don't need it plugging in yet to one side, and get my candle in here. Now the other thing that you need is a little bit of wax paper. Right, so you know grease proof paper does exactly the same. You know what you were using when we're cooking. So you need a little bit of wax paper, and I like it folded in half. And here's what we're going to do. You're going to work out where you want this to appear on your candle. So I want it, yep, that looks lovely. Then you're going to take your wax paper and wrap your wax paper around the candle. And you wrap it around and hold it at the back in place. So that's all held now. And what this is doing is it's maintaining the shape of the candle. And then you're going to come with your heat gun. And we're just going to go, let's just get this wire over here. I'm just going to put it on the lowest setting and just melt essentially around the surface. Let's have a look. Yes, you can see that. What it does is it melts the surface of the wax. And the wax kind of melts and lets that number one go in. Can you see there? It's kind of changing. You kind of can't almost see where the outside of the, uh, the tissue paper is now. And essentially, it's like the tissue paper vanishes into the candle. Now, they do say, like, you know, I, I wouldn't really recommend burning this. But the thing is, it's, you don't really, you're not going to do it on an expensive candle that's there for burning, are you not? This is more something that you would do for decorative purposes, something that's like a real keepsake. I made these when one of my friends got married. I made them for the centerpieces of all the tables with the names of the tables on. So you don't have to find you could do this technique with printing or anything like that. And then all we do, you see, that there is, I can see it melting. And can you see, I've even got a little bit of the wax is actually melting through the tissue paper. But that's absolutely fine. You're just going to leave it and make sure that's all kind of, um, that's all stuck. And then when you peel this off, that has actually been embedded into the front of the candle. So have a little look at the close up there. That is fully embedded into the front of that candle. And now bear in mind, this could be an image that you'd hand coloured, that you'd hand stamped, that you'd made yourself. Anything, so one of your stamp designs. All you need to do is do it on a tissue paper and then you use that technique. But it shows you that even with foiled elements, it works an absolute treat.